Hello, Mark. This is Dr. Gay. I want to say thank you so much for coming to First Lake MRI, and I'm excited to show you the inside of your shoulder. So I'm going to start with a little bit of anatomy, and this is a good view here. We're looking straight at your shoulder. This round ball is your humeral head. Here's the humeral neck, and this is the humeral shaft, your arm bone. If we look off laterally here, you see this gray stuff. This is your deltoid muscle, and all your muscles are gray here around the shoulder. So your humeral head is nice and round, and it sits in a cup here called the glenoid. So this makes your shoulder joint, the round humeral head and this cup. And around the periphery of the cup, there's a little black wedge that we call the labrum. There it is right there, this little triangle. So the labrum goes all the way around the periphery, around the ring of this cup. And again, the cup is a glenoid. Now your shoulder joint looks great. There's no arthritis, no spurring. And above here, above the shoulder joint, we see something called the AC joint. So up here is called your acromioclavicular joint. Here's a clavicle, acromion, where they come together, AC joint. And luckily, your AC joint looks great. No arthritis. And beneath the AC joint, we have something you've probably heard of called the rotator cuff. So this gray band is a nice big thick muscle coming across. And then it thins out and turns into a, a tendon here. And the tendon should be really dark. Here's a little bit more gray, so you may have some mild wear and tear there. But there's no tear of the, you know, no full thickness tear, no reason to have surgery. Just a little bit of um, irritation or wear and tear, very minimal. And above that, you have a little bit of fluid on one view. Let me put up a different view here. Here's another view of the same thing. And now fluid will be bright. You can see just a wisp of fluid in the joint here. And if we go along the top here, there's a little bit of fluid above. So you have some very minimal bursitis above the rotator cuff. But no rotator cuff tear, a little bit of a bursal effusion that can cause some pain. And then we're going to come down to your biceps tendon. Your biceps tendon comes off the top here, goes over the top, makes a turn, and comes down here. Your biceps tendon looks completely normal. And then we're going to look at the last thing is that labrum again. I showed you what the labrum was, which is this little cartilaginous ring. Here's the top of the labrum. Looks good. If we go down towards the front, it's hard to see on this view. We have another view where we can see it better. I'll show you in a minute. And here's the bottom. The bottom looks <clears throat> unusual right here. So instead of having a nice black wedge, we see a little bit of gray signal right here. And then here we see these two little white specks. This is fluid within a tear of the labrum. And then there's another funny thing here. This is a little tongue-like projection of fluid. This is what they call a paralabral cyst. So there's a tear of the labrum, and then fluid is coming out of that going down called a paralabral cyst. So this is the main finding, a tear of your posterior inferior labrum. Now this is from another orientation. You have a little bit of motion, so it's a little blurry, but this is the humeral head now sitting in this cup here. And this is part of the labrum here. Remember that little black wedge, triangular wedge of cartilage there. And if we go down, down, right there, you can see there's brightness within that. That is the labral tear. And then if we keep going down, you can see that labral tear again there a little bit better, that bright signal. And then there's a little bit of fluid behind it. There it is. And this little round ball of fluid is a paralabral cyst. So you have a small tear with a paralabral cyst. That's the main finding, and that's probably the uh, source of pain. So uh, just bring the disc and the written report to your doctor, and he'll be able to go over that with you in more detail and give you some advice as to what to do next. But thank you so much for coming in, and I hope you have a great day.